is up you guys welcome back to the channel hopefully each and every one of you guys is having a great and amazing day if i can ask you all to do me a big favor take five seconds of your time go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and if you're not subscribed to the channel already please consider doing so with that being said let's get right into the video today i'm introducing you to a new way on how to test your e85 so Generally, with a car that's not running a flex fuel kit like my own, uh, I'm not even on E85 yet, but I got this device from Spool Performance that allows me to test E85 before it gets introduced to my car. This is what the unit looks like right here. You just pour some E85 in the top, press the button, turn it on, and then open up the app and it will di display your ethanol percentage. So. The reason why you want to test your E85 before putting it into your car, especially during the winter months, is you can get some bad E85 in your car. Generally with the flex fuel tune, you don't have to worry about it, but with a car that's running strictly E85, you don't want to run anything less than E70 content. Here at my local station, I generally test between E85 and E90, and it's a pain in the ass testing with the test tubes mixing water with E85 constantly. It just takes forever um, and it's just inconvenient to always carry water with you and mix it. So that's why we got this and it should make things a lot easier. So as you see, we've got some E85 in there. I'm just gonna set it up here and then I will do a screen recording of the app. Simply press the button press connect and we are reading E83. That's simple. So that means this ethanol is safe to be running in my car so I don't have to have any worries about having a bad batch. Um, we're probably still on the winter blend. Usually it reads about E90 like I say. At least that's what the um, fuel tubes read. Um, other than that, this should be good to go. That method just makes things so much simpler than using those fuel tubes. Um, honestly, they're just the biggest pain to use. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Drop a comment in the comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Until next time, we're out. I just want to apologize that you don't have the general intro with a normal camera and you're stuck on a GoPro. The reason being is uh, I ran into a buddy at the gas station and we got a 5.2 liter Gen 2 Coyote. So he upgraded to the 5.2 liter engine. That's pro charged and we're gonna get a little bit of a, a little bit of a roll going right now. So definitely excited to see what happens here. He's gonna is absolutely destroy me. He's on E85 already and uh, he's probably pushing well over 800 wheels so I'm looking forward to the gap at the same time I'm not the car sounds ridiculous but anyhow let's go catch this gap so as mentioning his current mods that I believe are the Pro Charger GT350 manifold 5.2 voodoo engine uh, Gen 2 at that and it's actually fully built by RPG and then he has uh, full tire setup um, on some drag radials of course and then he has headers and pretty much full bolt on uh, stage 3 4 innovations fuel system running E85 pushing well over 800 wheel um, so I say bye bye I guess if you thought my last gap was bad by that Shelby GT500 um, this one's not going to be much better. Oh, I could just hear that thing.
so it looks like we're gonna do one more run here um, give the car a little bit of a chance to cool down uh, the first run I definitely didn't hook traction control kicked in I didn't have the advanced traction control all the way off and I'm still trying to figure out this damn draggy I'm gonna do something like this So those were some pretty damn good runs. Um, he didn't pull away as much as what I expected. The last run, obviously I pulled away from him. I think something happened with his car. Not 100% confirmed. Um, I didn't 100% figure out the draggy, so I'm gonna do that in a whole different video. Probably have a passenger so they can record at the same time. Um, other than that, great runs to him. I'll definitely have to rerun him when I'm on E85. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. Let me know in the comment section below how you think it'll go once I'm on E85. Until next time, I'm out.